Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Zachary, and uh, I am the developer of the Handmaster Plus. Uh, I'm often asked what I think is the best way to treat uh, cumulative trauma disorders, and especially carpal tunnel syndrome and tennis elbow. Those are the two main ones we see, and two of the most debilitating. And um, when a cumulative trauma disorder is um, acute and it is symptomatic, uh, my answer is always the same. You have to uh, visit a professional, a healthcare professional, uh, to determine exactly the cause of it because most of the times after uh, there's been a lot of scarring, a lot of uh, injury and repair um, processes, and what has to be done is that a, a skilled practitioner has to uh, uh, examine you and uh, analyze the problem and then go ahead with treatment. Um, the two techniques that I recommend, um, when, especially when it comes to hand, wrist, form and elbow problems, are I recommend that you search for a practitioner in either um, active release technique, which is uh, you can find somebody at activerelease.com, uh, or I recommend uh, that you find somebody that uh, is skilled in the Graston technique and uh, you can find them at grastontechnique.com and what they will do is they will analyze where there is adhesions, where there is um, pathologic uh, soft tissue conditions and they will break those down and, and stimulate your body's natural healing. Um, this is the best way to get a soft tissue problem uh, like carpal tunnel syndrome or um, tennis elbow analyzed and corrected. Now at some point with um, that's the first stage, but at some point you have to rebalance the tissues as well. And an active release practitioner and a Graston technique practitioner uh, will give you um, exercises, both stretching and strengthening exercises. And an exercise that you're going to see a lot is uh, with the Handmaster Plus that we developed. I'll show you it really quickly. Um, it's very simple. Instead of showing a patient four or five exercises that they will forget and probably are not likely to do and follow up on, and then again, we never do get the complete recorrection of the area um, so that blood flow is reestablished, uh, healthy tissues are reestablished, but also strength and balance is reestablished. With Handmaster Plus, uh, patients can easily remember the steps. Then our main step for carpal tunnel is that we strengthen and rebalance the muscles that close the hand with the muscles that open the hand. That keeps the carpal tunnel nice and supported, keeps m m maximum blood flow established and that's how you will correct the problem. So very simply, a carpal tunnel patient, after they have been treated and after they're okay to do strengthening exercises, they would simply get a Handmaster Plus. Uh, keep the wrist straight, squeeze against the ball for count of one, open and spread for count of one. Squeeze for count of one, open and spread for count of one. So now this exercise is very simple to remember and uh, it'll strengthen all the muscles that close the hand as well as the muscles that open and spread the hand so it keeps the carpal tunnel nice and wide, keeps all the health, uh, tissues healthy and balanced. Okay, that's for carpal tunnel. Uh, for tennis elbow, again, same thing. Get the adhesions diagnosed, get them broken down, start the healing repair, get stability to the joint. When strengthening and, st and stretching exercises are okay, the strengthening exercise we recommend was that same first one that we showed you for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome but also we add a second one for tennis elbow and that's very simply to keep the hand, the wrist straight again, you squeeze against the ball. This time I'm going to keep the thumb on the ball. I'm going to extend just the fingers to strengthen the finger extensor muscles and then I'm going to, straighten, and I'm going to extend uh, for a count of three to extend to strengthen the wrist extensor. So again, squeeze for one, keep the thumb on the ball, extend the fingers for two, extend the wrist for three. Squeeze for one, extend the fingers for two, extend the wrist for three. We continue to do that until a comfortable fatigue. That will strengthen all the lateral side of the forearm that is made up of finger extensors and wrist extensors. And that will completely uh, re-strengthen and rebalance that area so that we're not likely to relapse. To find the Handmaster Plus, Handmaster Plus you can visit our website at www.docsac.com. And again, um, we've given you the addresses for a practitioner skilled in extremity injuries. I hope that helps. Thank you very much.